the fastest train I see. I'm going down the station. Catch the fastest train I see. Got the blues about me so and so. She sure got the blues about me. Cause I've got a rambling, rambling all on my mind. folks that was the wonderful Jared Shaw. Jared welcome to Blues on the Hill. Baz, thanks for having me man. Yeah. Absolute pleasure. Now you have the honour of opening the Bendigo Blues Festival Thursday night. You are yes, the I'm, opening act. That's correct I'll be part of I believe they've got they've got a little open mic session running um, prior to, to myself I believe at the Gold Dust Lounge and then, um, and then I'll be on and there's there's a whole swag of other other acts as well um, playing after that and, um, to kick off the festival. So fantastic! Yeah. yeah, and that was wonderful, mate. Thank you for that uh, live track. Now, tell us about your association with Bendigo and how long you've been, uh, yeah, associated with the festival and how you got involved. Well, um, basically, this would be the second year I've, I've played the festival, so I played it last year as well, and um, so. I, last year I heard the festival was, was going to be on, and I thought, oh, geez, it'd be, it'd be good to be a part of that, part of the lineup. You know, they've got some great acts. Every year they've had, they've had fantastic acts, you know. Certainly and, have, uh, yeah. And I thought it would be great just to, to get myself in there somehow. So um, I sent off a few songs to, to the director of the festival and um, that I'd recorded on my iPhone. I sat there and I recorded some songs on my iPhone and um, sent them through, and he was more than happy to have me, So, which was fantastic. I was very appreciative of that. And that's the great thing about it, isn't it? That um, as a young blues man, you know, you, you can get started by, uh, you know, get, getting involved in festivals like this, grassroots yep. festivals, you know, the ones that start at local level. Yep. And um, and as they grow, you grow with them. Yeah, hopefully. And look, you know, it's it's just a, oh, I feel very lucky, really, to be to be included in, in the lineup. And um, they've got some great. They've got national, you know, national blues acts, people like Jeff Atchison and. Lord Spiegel and, and all those Absolutely. Guys. And then um, all the locals, you know, myself included, get to, we're lucky to be a part of it as well. You know, it's a big thing, I think, for the for the town of Bendigo, that, though, too, to have the local local acts, you know, obviously keep it very community focused as well. It That's is, great. yeah. It's it's great for the town. Um, 
I was there last year and um, just wandering around the town and just talking to, to the local uh, business people. They, they just said they're wrapped, you know, that weekend the, the town comes alive and um, everyone just wanders around and um, the businesses are full, uh, the restaurants are full, everyone's having a good time and um, it's family friendly yep. and, and that's the best thing about it. Yeah, it's and looking you know, at the good thing is for the for the local artists like myself as well. You know, we get to we get to play our gigs and then we get to go around and watch watch all of the uh, you know the major blues acts that are coming to town <laughs> and go and learn. learn it is, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's great for you, yeah, like you say, as an emerging um, artist to to watch the best and and to learn from the best. Yeah. Now speaking of that, learning from the best. This is uh, where I first saw you, which was at the Docklands Blues Festival. Yep. Hadn't heard of you before, hadn't seen you before. Whitey, Youth in Blues program. Mm -hmm. And you just snuck in. I just, just, you just, just snuck, snuck in. in. <laughs> but what a wonderful program. Tell us about yeah. that and yeah. uh, how, how that experience was. Look, it was fantastic. And uh, that, was, that was one of those things that... Um, once again, I sort of just just heard about it and uh, and thought, oh, you know, um, I, I think that it was from uh, I don't know what the what the earliest age was, but it was until 25, and I was just I was 25, so I thought, look, you know, I'll go along and I'll you know see if I can learn learn some stuff and, and you know meet other people uh, my age or closer to my age that are into blues and playing blues, you know, because it, it there's it can be a bit harder to come by people my age, I guess, that are into into blues and, and things like that, um, unless you're, you know, there are other musos that you're going out and you're, unless you're at a place like the NBAS, really, where you, you come across lots of blues fans. Um, so I was in part of the program and, and they had some great uh, artists come in and mentor um, all of us um, and uh, give us hints and advice on, on playing and all sorts of stuff from, you know, from the, from the actual technicalities of playing to the history of blues to stage crafts, all of that sort of stuff. So it was a good, good learning experience, and um, you know, we had people like Jeff Atchison came in, and uh, had Rebecca from Dream Day, Boogie, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Wayne Jewry, of yep. course, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, quite a few of the Dream Boogie actually. Um, Great the mentors, yeah, yeah. So it was a fantastic experience, and then we had, and since then we've had quite a couple of uh, uh, little festivals and things like that. We had quite a couple, the World Standard House of Blues. We've had quite a few little events there. That we've as a package, the youth of blue, youth in blues guys, we've all got to play. Um, and it's been great, great experience. Yeah, it is. Um, like I say, I, I saw you at the Docklands and uh, was very impressed. And there's a little uh, little video on YouTube if um, people, if you want to have a look, um, it's uh, just look up the NBAS Youth in Blues and you'll see there a little video of Jared playing and, and pretty much the whole group did a. Um, a little sort of mini concert at the Docklands Blues Festival um, last month, I think, yeah. and uh, that went over really well. Yeah. That, that was that was great. Yeah, it was good fun. We didn't uh, we had one rehearsal, I think, one quick, you know, more of a not not so much a rehearsal, even as more of a get together to, <laughs> to sort of uh, what songs can we play? <laughs> but it was it was great fun, you know. It's um, we all got up there and had a jam, and um, yeah, it was, I think it sounded great. So excellent. All right, we'll go to a break. And then we'll come back with some more of Jared Shaw. You're listening to Blues on the Hill with Baz. It's the Bendigo Blues and Roots Festival Special. Jared Shaw is my studio guest. We'll be back soon. Well, I started playing guitar probably when I was what, uh, 17 years, so quite late really, um, 17 or, or even 18 maybe. Um, you know, it was the usual, Metallica, ACDC, all that stuff, yep. Zeppelin, yep. all that stuff, that's what I was into. <laughs> I wanted to be Angus Young, I guess, and um, and that's, that's yeah, that's really what I was, I was really into and that's what I was learning, you know. Um, never had lessons, so I still haven't had a guitar lesson um, as yet. Uh, so... Um, so just listening, you're sort of listening to um, records. Is that yeah. how you sort of learn? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, yeah. yeah. Look, you know, and you know, the usual the internet obviously is a great yep. tool these days for teaching yourself to do anything really, and playing guitar included. And uh, and uh, so on there, you know, you can learn the scales and all that sort of yep. stuff. On there, so I guess I did all of that from, from there by myself. Um, but 
I guess coming into the Blues was more uh, maybe 20, 20, 21, something like that, around that age, when, um, you know, it's the usual journey that I think a lot of guitarists or blues musicians find their way. You look at the, who's writing all the songs on, on the back of these albums and, you know, Trace it back. And, ever, and, and, and you, Robert Johnson fell yeah, yeah, yeah. popping up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, so and that's really, you know, helped them their way to that music. Yeah, you traced it back to yeah. to its roots, yeah. and then uh, then you appreciate where it came from, and yeah. um, and uh, yeah, and, and then explore those sort of people, exactly which is right, yeah. uh, which is how we keep the blues alive. Yeah, you know, with, exactly. with people like yourself. Yeah. So, um, what got me when um, I uh, I saw you playing was your phrasing, you know, your, your vocal phrasing. Do you spend a lot of time on that, like you know, because I mean. Um, the blues, you know, the, the the words are on the page. But to make it sound like blues, you you you've got to get the phrasing right, and yeah. um, that's what got me about you. So, is that important to you? Look, it is important to me, but to be honest, it's not really something that I work on as such. I think, and look, the singing for me has only really been something that I've been uh, maybe one and a half to two years probably only been really singing for. Prior to that, you know, I was I was quite shy in terms of getting up in front of people and singing you know, okay. or playing guitar really in front of anyone and um, and so it's sort of something that, that came about I guess because I wanted to do gigs and uh, people were telling me I needed to do gigs so uh, I guess I had to sing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I started doing it and you know I got into it and it's something that's just sort of practice I guess evolved from there. I don't really sit at home to be honest and practice vocal technique or anything like that. I just Okay, but you must have, you must have listened to <laughs> yeah. to blues men and so oh, absolutely yeah so, oh yeah yeah as far as like influences go like people like Howling Wolf oh, and yeah, Robert Johnson all and all of that you know even yeah. and then there's the, 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 the modern blues Australian as well people like Ash Cornwall um, okay you know, I love his voice people yeah. like Chris Wilson oh yeah like Chris Wilson voice got a massive voice love Chris Wilson so much soul and passion yeah and yeah. Um, yeah. obviously you know that, that's the thing to develop mm -hmm. you know that yeah. that's what uh, that's what you hear you know you don't need to see someone you just hear that and you think wow you know that that's real yeah. soul real passion that's and right. um, that's what my show is about you know I, I get to hear so much music you know I, I, I get it from all over the, the world you know connections to the biggest blues labels I hear the biggest and the best artists and and the thing that stands out is the soul and the passion you know yeah. you hear it straight away yeah. and, and that's what makes a difference absolutely and that's that's probably the thing that draws me to, to liking playing and listening playing and listening to, to the blues you know the most is, is exactly that the soul you know it's uh it's quite important to me too even even when picking picking the covers that i do you know of, of these old blues tunes and that they often um, the lyrics have to be relevant to me in some way you know for me to sing them okay so that's important like that. to you it yeah. is, it's very important to me yeah because um you know different time different place that i'm growing up in so some of the lyrics don't quite gel with me i guess you know because i don't you know, feel what they're talking about yeah that's interesting <laughs> so. you say that because um uh, i interviewed watermelon slim uh, recently, and, and he's uh, he's on an interview where he says the same thing about young blues men. He goes, you know, what, how are these young blokes singing blues when they've never they've never worked a day in their life and they've never done this and they've never done that? So it, it really upset him that you know, and 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 that sort of relates to what you're saying that if if you don't feel that you've lived those, those lyrics, you're not going to sing them. Is that that's what? Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And look, you know, that's that's a whole there's a whole big uh, that's a whole topic, isn't it? To it talk is. about the blues and, and what it is and what it means to different people you know, and, and all that sort of stuff. But for me, I guess, yeah, look, uh, some of the lyrics and that that they sing, you know, back from the from the days, you know, the slow load days, but I mean, I, those lyrics to me don't really. Yeah. I can't really sing those ones. Okay. I feel some people do it, and um, and that's good and well for everyone's different, you know. But for me, it's um, I like to sing things, I guess, that I feel like I can relate to when I'm singing it. Yeah. All right, so. While we're talking about you singing in um, the type of songs, what about writing your own? Have you started? I am, yep. yep. So, so you've I'm, started writing, I'm, yeah? So I'm, I'm busy at the moment um, writing songs. I'm trying to uh, get together some enough material to put together a little EP, hopefully for either January or Feb uh, coming. 
That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. so um, get something together because I get asked a lot at, at, at shows for for a CD, you know, and um, up until you know, well, um, up until hopefully early next year, I haven't had one, so um, which is disappointing. But um, I've just been focusing, I guess, so much on the uh, cutting my teeth, you know, live. It, yeah, just just yeah. getting the hours yeah. in yeah. and um, and yeah. getting the gigs That's right. is yeah. uh, is important, but. Uh, I'll do this little uh, this little sun house tune that I, that I really like, and I've been doing this at a couple of gigs lately. And uh, we were talking before about uh, lyrics and everything like that, and how I like to sing songs that um, I can relate to or that mean something, I guess, to me. And a lot of those old old blues tunes are uh, you know, they've got great lyrics, and they they often they're fairly simple songs lyric wise, but they uh, they say a lot with those with those few words and um, this one is a somehow song it's called Grinning in Your Face and it's one of my favourite go my for favorite it songs. all yours yeah. must Don't you mind people grinning in your face? Don't you mind people grinning in your face? Won't you bear this in mind? A true friend is hard to find. Don't you mind? People grinning in your face. Well, your mother will talk about you, your sister and your brothers too. No matter how you try to live, they're gonna talk about you still. So don't you bear this in mind. A true friend is hard to find. Don't you mind people grinning in your face? <laughs> jump you up and down they'll run you all around as soon as you've got your back turned they're gonna try to drag you down so don't you bear this in mind the true friend is hard to find don't you mind people grinning in your face don't you mind people grinning in your face won't you bear this in mind a true friend is hard to find don't you mind people grinning in your face. <laughs>
Yeah. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. Yeah. That Basil. was magnificent. Now, we talk about true blues. What's real blues? That, that is real blues. Beautiful. <laughs> Just the harmonica and vocal, almost a field holler. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've seen Sunhouse. You can, you can look it up on YouTube. I think there's clips of him of him singing that song. He's, he's just sitting there in a chair, really. He's, he's just clapping in a very weird timing, to mind you, um, um, and singing it. And it's very, very powerful stuff. And, and, you know, the song's obviously a very powerful song, too. So. Oh, yeah, and um, a great rendition. Just a, a great rendition of it. As I said, you know, about phrasing and vocals, that's, yeah. that's a great example of it, you know. Thank you very um, much. Mm. To take that on, that's 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 good stuff. That that's real blues. That, that's the sort of blues I like. Yeah. Yeah.